Hi guys, it's Keto Phoenix here and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually I'm going to show you guys um, a few items that I have bought recently. So it's kind of like a little mini haul, but it's going to be from a couple different places. So I haven't, I'm, I'm still kind of doing my research into all of my athletic wear. You know, I just kind of like to buy from all sorts of places. So first off, Walmart. I got this athletic set where it's a bra and the pants. And I absolutely love the pattern design on the on this. And um, this is from the brown, uh, brand Avia, I think is how you say it, Avia. So I've been really trying to get some different bras because I was originally getting the bras that zipped up in the front. And I ran in those, I think like last week, and it ended up rubbing the skin right off the inside, right, like right here. And it hurt so bad and it took forever. It was just horrible. So I've been trying to get more sportsy running bras like this that don't have the zip ups in the front because zip ups in the front, no, 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 no. <laughs> At least not for me. And then of course, here's the matching pants. I haven't worn the pants um, or the bra yet. I've washed them, but I haven't worn them yet. Um, I might, I mean, I don't know. Like I have this weird thing that, you know, I kind of want to wear them together for the first time, right? But at the same time, we still have another couple weeks before I even think about wearing pants outside. So and it didn't come as a set. I had to get them separately. So here. when I was at Walmart, I was looking around and I found these ratio keto friendly chocolate brownies. They look yummy, so yummy. And they're nine grams of total fat, one sugar, and two net carbs for one bar. They're gluten-free as well, um, in case you're curious about that, because you know I, I'm, I'm always paying attention to that because of my family. Um, they're allergic to gluten. Anyways, um, this I got two boxes. Each one comes with six soft bake, baked bars. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna necessarily need to eat things when I'm running. I mean, I feel like quite a few people don't necessarily um, eat these little go snacks while they're running because they're just suddenly hungry and they wanna eat something. I think they do it as a like an energy replenishment. So I'm assuming, you know, when I st really start feeling my energy stores getting super low, I could eat one of these. Um, so, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to have to, you know, play with it. I haven't, in my opinion, I haven't went a long enough distance yet to really determine when, you know, I should be eating one of these. But, um, I have watched people on YouTube who are like, um, they're doing half marathons and in the half marathons, they eat maybe like one or two of these or those gels, which I have not yet found a gel that is keto friendly. Um, if you guys have, if you guys have heard of a gel or something that is a keto friendly option, please let me know down in the comments below because that would be an amazing help. But anyways, getting back to these, uh, they're made with almond flour. Um, they're, they've got pecans, a, a brownie texture. Uh, there's chocolate chunks in there. And then of course, no added sugars. So... Um, it looks like to this, it's got 11 grams of total carbs, five grams of fiber, and four grams of sugar alcohol, which leaves you with the two grams of net carbs for one of these. So, and again, I don't see, see myself needing many of them, especially right now. Next is a store that, I mean, I don't know how many people know about these, this place, but it's called Me Undies. And I love this store for many reasons. First off, you know what, I'm gonna be upfront with you guys. When I run, I love to wear thongs, okay? It's just, they're comfortable, right? It, it, it's just how I like to run. And the and I'm not gonna show those, obviously, on screen, but uh, me undies have the most comfortable underwear that I have ever worn in my entire life. They're like, you put them on, even a thong, you put them on and like, you're curious if it's even still there. I mean, that's how smooth it is. They're kind of expensive, 
which, you know, you're kind of paying for quality, but they're so worth it. The most comfortable things I've ever worn. And when you're running, you definitely want to make sure that you're being comfortable, right? So anyways, uh, I'll show you a couple of prints. I got um, matching bras. So they had this really cool um, 4th of July firework print. So we got that for the 4th of July. And here's the awesome thing too. And I want to mention that as well because I keep saying we. Uh, the other thing about me, undie, me undies is you can, if you've got a significant other, you can get male underwear to match your stuff. So yes, my husband and I have been married for almost 22 years and you know what? We still act like newlyweds. Everybody tells us that. They can't believe we've been married for so long, but we love matching. So he's got matching underwear to go with my thong and my bras. So in every single one of these prints. So I don't know, it's just something cool about matching with them. So it's kind of awesome. And then here's the most recent one uh, that I just purchased. I haven't, I haven't worn it yet, but I mean, I already know they're gonna be amazing, but we just got this like kind of deserty themed print, which we thought was perfect because we live in the desert. Um, so I can't wait until October because I'm hoping they're gonna come out with some really cool like Halloween print stuff that my husband and I can match on and that would be really cool. So something else that they sell there is socks. Now they don't call them athletic socks or running socks or anything like that, but I have got several pairs of these now. And I will tell you what, the most comfortable socks I've ever worn. So when you put it on your foot, right, it like, it compresses it, it holds it, your foot, and it's just so comfortable. It doesn't slip, it doesn't slide around your toes. It helps keep the sock in place when you're running. So I've had no rubbage. It's the right, perfect thickness. I've had socks that were too thin. And so I ended up uh, having a, some toe rubbage, right? And I've had socks so thick that my it was just uncomfortable for my feet. Like my, I felt like I couldn't, my, my feet couldn't breathe, right? Um, but like, I don't even know, see how well you can tell, but see, it's got lots of breathability in the socks. And then of course, right here on the tip of the sock, it kind of, it raises up onto your ankle a little bit. And I find this to be super comfortable when I'm running. Like I've worn these and you know, I'm gonna have to get a bunch more because I just can't see myself really running in anything else. And I've only got a couple pairs right now. So again, spendy for socks, because I know you can go on Amazon and get some cheaper and I'll probably eventually do that and see if I can find some cheaper end socks for you guys. That would be as close to this as I can possibly get it. And then when I figure that out, I will definitely make another one of these videos. And we're gonna move on to Amazon. And a lot of this is gonna be kind of like an unboxing too for the Amazon because I purchased them but quite a few of them I've left in their bags and I haven't really touched them. The only thing that I did do was I got a new pair of running shoes and I, I wore these today. So definitely pulled them out of the box and my foot's already feeling better. It still hurts, but um, not as bad. Uh, changing out the shoes did work. Now, again, three months. These last about three months. So you know, take that information with what you will. It could be different for everybody. I feel like um, I'm kind of hard on shoes anyways, even when I'm not running. And I got a another half size up. I normally wear a seven and a half and I got an eight and a half. But yeah, I do love these shoes. They're very breathable. And I got a, not, a lot of nice cushion in here. It also has some nice um, ankle support like this is this is hard right here right and then it kind of goes up on the heel which works great with my socks right um, the so socks that I was telling about from me undies right you put the that in here and they kind of just line up together and adds extra support around the ankles and the back of the the ankle and stuff and it's it's really awesome now let's get to the other stuff I'm really excited uh, I got this big old box here. Again, not a lot of stuff, but winter's coming and I wanted to try to be a little prepared for that because I've got a lot of summer wear now because I've been slowly buying and accumulating summer run wear throughout the last couple months. 
um, but I have a lot of winter wear. I was going through it and trying stuff on. I have a lot of winter wear that I can't wear anymore. I've gotten too small, um, which, hey, you know what? Weight loss is the goal. I'm not complaining, but I'm just like, hmm, okay. So um, anyways, first off, I've got this performance outdoor clothing, go on explore. So, and then basically what that is, is it's just, it's a headband. So it's for when winter comes, I'll be able to keep my ears nice and warm. And the great thing is, is it in the back here, it's got a little hole for your ponytail. So, cause I like to have my hair back in a ponytail. I can't run with my hair down. It's just, um, it bothers me too much that, and it's super baby fine hair. And so the slightest wind is just big knots, right? So I just like to run with my hair in a ponytail. So, um, and I don't want to always wear hats, um, especially when it gets down really cold. I don't think the hat that I've been running in is gonna keep my ears warm. Next, we have got gloves and these are fan vents gloves and because you know I do a lot of filming with my phone for you guys I wanted to find a decent pair of warm running gloves that would also still allow for me to um, mess with my phone and that is what I got here and um, a lot of them say, you know, one size fits all. It's supposed to be well insulated on the inside. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Wow, that feels nice. Oh yeah, that's gonna, yeah. That's definitely gonna keep my hands warm this winter when I'm running, but it doesn't feel over encumbering, uh, if that makes sense. It, it's comfortable, right? Like. Again, I'm all about comfort when running because if you're uncomfortable in the things that you're wearing, you're gonna have a miserable run. It it, it doesn't matter. Like it's it's gonna be miserable. So you gotta you gotta love what you're wearing. And I just love the little individual bag that it came in. Like it's one giant bag, but it's like sealed in the center so they that each glove has its own little compartment. Next, and this one was a big one for me because it does get cold here. And I didn't, I, I didn't have a decent running jacket. So I went ahead and bought one and this is from Mofiz. They had them in so many colors. I was like, <gasps> but I decided to go with black because black goes with anything you're wearing, right? But ta-da, oh, from here. But here's the jacket and it's supposed to do really well in in cold temperatures and um yeah it's just really nice it's kind of got a, a form fit to it so you're not going to be all clunky and stuff but it's also kind of got a, a, um, a feel of like you know a um i don't know how you put it just like those really warm poofy jackets right it's kind of got that feel to it and then I'm gonna, again, it's got the hood. So if I do get desperate and my head is like, even four miles in my run, if my head is still cold, then I've got a hood option here. And then I'm gonna open it up for you guys, show you the inside lining. Look at that, look at the inside of the lining there. That I have been, um, this will be the first time running in the colder temperatures, but I was doing walking uh, last winter. And so I was just using my regular everyday jackets and stuff, but I don't want to sweat all over those. And I don't think they would be super comfortable to run in. So I feel much better knowing that I have a jacket to run in that is specifically just for running okay, and the last thing and i'm super excited about it uh because now that i'm getting into half marathon training you know i think i i've been easily been getting away with running about six miles without having any water um but beyond that i don't want to push it i do definitely do get thirsty so what i did is i went on amazon and i bought a hydration pack Woo! Okay, and so 
this is the Udo Best brand. So I've never heard of it. I've never bought anything from that brand, but this looked amazing. And of course I had to get green guys because if you know me, green's my jam. It'll always be my jam. So, but anyways, I opened it up. So that's the front and it's got several pockets here so you can put a water bottle here those like squish bottles right got a compartment to put one there and another compartment to put one here I will be purchasing some of those it didn't come with them but I will be purchasing some of them because what um, what I want to do is because the water's back here right and what I want to do is I want to fill this with water and then I want to take the two bottles here and I want to fill that with my element drink. So when I'm on those really long runs, we're talking like marathon training sort of scenarios, I can alternate between water, but also getting my uh, electrolytes replenished with my element. And so those bottles will go in here. Um, I just wasn't worried about it just yet, but when I do get to marathon training and stuff, like I'll be getting bottles, those squish bottles to stick in here. It's also got a zip compartment, so I can stick my, um, probably could stick my phone in one of these pockets, uh, but it's got this. Oh, it comes with a whistle. Oh, that's really cool. It comes with a whistle. But yeah, it's got these little pockets that you can stick um, your phone, your keys, which is also going to be nice because I actually have quite a bit of athletic pants and stuff that does not have pockets. So it's gonna be nice to not have to worry so much about pockets being a necessity because um, I'll have this now. So, and then of course, let's open the back here, which again, I haven't used this thing before. So, oh, the zippers, <laughs> zippers right there. So we're, we're learning this together, guys. We're learning this together. So I have a hiking one, but if anybody, if you know, you know, these are different. So, but here's the bag. And then it's got the little, the little mouthpiece. And then that's gonna come up, um, that's gonna come out through here. And then it's got, part right here is gonna come through there. And then it can hook here, or if you're one of those people that like to cross it over, you can hook it here. So you'll have a, a safe place to have your little mouthpiece so that you can get a drink of water whenever you need one. So, and then again, with these pouches, uh, it's got plenty of room to add um, food, things like that, so that you can be eating while you're running. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this little haul video. If this is something you guys like and would like to see more of, I can definitely make more videos. Like I said, I'm going to be accumulating more things you know the winter season and stuff in the next several months so I can you know every few months or whatever I can do one of these haul videos and show you kind of what I got um, just let me know down in the comments below if that's something that you would like to see more of and I would be more than willing to do that because I find them very helpful uh, especially for new runners to kind of see what other people are wearing and using right when when they're running i hope everybody has a fantastic day if you're a runner good job guys and you guys are amazing so i'll see you guys in my next video bye